thousand. Has anybody any idea how long it takes an elevator train going at medium speed to pass a given point? What has that to do with anything? How long? Take a guess. I wouldn't have the slightest idea. What do you think? I don't know, maybe 10, 12 seconds? I think that's a pretty good guess. Anyone else? That sounds right to me. Come on, what's the guessing game for? What do you say? 10 seconds is about right. All right, say 10 seconds. What are you getting at? This. It takes a six-car L train 10 seconds to pass a given point. Now, let's say the given point is the open window of the room where the killing took place. You can reach out of that window and almost touch the L tracks, right? Now, let me ask you this. Has anyone here ever lived near the L tracks? Well, uh, I just finished painting an apartment that overlooked an L line. I was there for three days. What was it like? What do you mean? Noisy. Oh, brother. Uh, it don't matter, though. We're all punchy. I lived in a second-floor apartment near the L line once. When the window is open and the train goes by, the noise is almost unbearable. You can hardly hear yourself think. All right, you can't hear yourself think. Will you get to the point? I will. Now, just a minute. Let's take two pieces of testimony and try to put them together. First, the old man in the apartment downstairs. He says he heard the boy say, I'm going to kill you, and a split second later heard a body hit the floor. One second later, right? That's right. Second. The woman across the street swore positively. She looked out of the window and saw the killing through the last two cars of a passing elevated train, right? The last two cars. Well, what are you giving us here? Just, now, just a minute. We've agreed that it takes 10 seconds for a train to pass a given point. Since the woman saw the killing through the last two cars, we can assume that the body hit the floor just as the train went by. Therefore, the train had been roaring by the old man's window a full 10 seconds before the body hit the floor the old man, according to his own testimony, I'm going to kill you, body hitting the floor a split second later, would have had to hear the boy make this statement with the L roaring past his nose. It's not possible he could have heard it. That's idiotic, of course he heard it. Do you it. think he could have heard it? He said he yelled at the top of his voice. That's good enough for me. Even if he heard something, he still couldn't have identified the voice with the L roaring by You're talking about a matter of seconds. Nobody can be that accurate. Well, I think testimony that could put a boy into the electric chair should be that accurate. Well, I don't know. Yeah, something I don't think he could have heard it. Maybe he didn't hear it. I mean, with all that L noise. Oh, what are you people talking well, about? Well, that's the reason he couldn't have heard it. Why should he lie? What's he got to gain? Attention, maybe. You keep coming.